Hi, I'm Misty with Don Williams Street, and we are here to help you become a more confident quilter from the piecing to the quilting and everything in between. This week, we are going to do something that I absolutely love. We're going to bring some 3D elements into your quilt. So I love adding 3D elements, little texture into quilts, especially for kids quilts. And you can find this really simple 3D pinwheel technique in our pixie dust quilt. So for this square, we're going to need four pieces of your background fabric. And really you can choose whatever size you want these to be. Just make sure that you're cutting your background squares one inch larger than your pinwheel squares. So I went ahead and I cut my background squares at six and a half for this one. And then our pinwheel squares, you also need four pieces for that as well. And we're mixing it up a little bit. We're gonna do two different colors in this pinwheel and these are cut at five and a half inches. The first step for this is you're gonna take your five and a half inch square and you're going to fold it in half, do a little finger press, and then you're gonna fold it in half again and it, you can also just do a finger press on this or if you want it to be a really nice press, you can go over to the iron and press that down. Now that we have our square all pressed and ready to go, we're going to line it up right along this corner of our background fabric. And then we're going to go over to our machine and just do a scant um, quarter of an inch seam along here or an 18th of an inch seam. So nari, not an eighteenth, an eighth of an inch seam. And really I just like to do it with a basting seam because this seam doesn't have to stay in place, but it's gonna help hold this um, little 3D element in place as we sew the blocks together. We have our basting stitch right here to hold this in place. And then after you're complete with the first one, just go ahead and repeat and finish up the rest of them. Now we're going to get these blocks sewn together. So we're gonna lay it out. We wanna make sure that our points are matching up in the center. And I'm alternating my colors. And then we're going to just lay these on top of each other. I'm gonna throw a couple of pins in this. It'll just help hold everything in place. And then sew our quarter of an inch seam. We have our two squares sewn together. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that. And then we're gonna sew these two sections together. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that you're lining that center seam up. And to help with that, we've pressed the seams towards the purple block, and that will help these two just nest right up together and help us get that line nice and straight. We now have a really fun, simple 3D pinwheel block that we can add to any quilting project to bring some fun 3D texture. So you can find all the instructions for this on our blog. We'll include the um, fabric sizes that we used and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell so that you get reminded every time we upload a new video and we will see you next week.